name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the tutorial series on how to implement the SQLite 3 database with the help of a Python programming language. And in today's video, I choose a topic of a foreign key which actually help us to make the relationship between two tables so that, you know, the dependent table can have a data based on what entries we have in a parent table and that phenomena is known as a referential integrity so as name suggests by referencing you know some value we are trying to maintain the integrity of data right so don't get confused with this let's get into the demo part and see how easy it is to understand the concept of foreign key and how we maintain a referential integrity within a relational database so let's get into the demo okay so what I have done as usual I have just created a template you know so in this template you can see I am just importing a SQLite 3 module then I am just making a connection to the first SQLite DB right and then I'm creating a cursor so if you want to see all these stuff you can just refer my previous part to just make understanding on these connections and cursor and the other thing which I have done I just created some placeholder for putting the query so not a placeholder it's a variable basically and then eventually we are just committing uh, whatever the changes we are making to the DB and then we are closing a cursor followed by closing the connection right so what is referential integrity right so as I mentioned that referential integrity is nothing but to in to into to preserve the integrity of a data and how can we do that so in a relational database we have a concept of a foreign key so as name suggests it means that the key which is primary key for a one table and now we are using the same key as a foreign key in a child table so let's me just create a query so that you can understand in a more easy way okay so what i have done is i have just created a two queries and i'm just gonna copy those two queries the first one is this one so what i am doing here is i'm just gonna change this query placeholder with this so you can see create table if not exist stock so I'm just creating a table name stock and these it is having three columns stock ID stock name and a stock symbol okay now I'm just creating a, another table and that is where I'm just trying to make the relationship between the stock table with this new table so here also I'm just creating a table with the name of a stock price right so here this table is not having anything new which you don't know right but the second table here this looks good quantity price stock ID but here we have a foreign key and what we are doing we are doing we are using a foreign key and we are passing a one column which is a stock ID right so I'm making the stock ID is a foreign key and I have to reference that so it means that I am not uh, uh, so so referencing means I'm just making a relationship between the between this table to the table from which I am just referencing so I'm referencing with the stock table and that is my first table and then we have a stock ID so what I'm doing is whatever the the column name with column name is stock ID which we have in a stock I am re referencing or I am just really I'm just making a relationship with this stock ID so what this particular statement gonna do for us is so once we just create these two tables right this table this stock price can only have a records for the stock ID which is already present into this in the parent table so let's see in the action right so right now the another thing which we have to do in a uh, in a SQLite 3 and that is really important to do we have to include this statement otherwise it won't work right and and you can just play with this and you can just see so what I have to do after making a connection I have to put this where what I'm doing is I'm just setting the uh, compiler directive basically the pragma foreign key equals to one that is gonna actually uh, enforce that feature which I'm just explaining you okay so so we have created a parent table and we have created a child table where the stock ID of a child table is referencing to the stock ID which we have in a stock table right now the next thing which we have to do is we have to just select star from first stock okay and similarly I could have just created these two tables also so to save a time and once these table gets created we have to put the insert data also so insert table query I just forgot to create the placeholder for this but I think I should be having an insert statement yep 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 so I do have the insert query for stock so I'm just gonna mention that here okay and similarly we have insert a statement for boots for child table 
okay so insert child table query equals to this one okay so now we have an insert statement so what we are doing is we are just inserting two values for a stock name and a stock symbol in a stock and a stock price i am just inserting quantity price and stock id and i'm just inserting one here so here we don't have uh, the id because i'm just relying on the default value which is going to be created by the db for us right so when we insert this first stock and ifrs it means that the stock id value would be one right and now i'm just inserting value one so this is the positive case but in the next time what we're going to do once this query gets run, I'll just gonna change this and see whether this is allowing me to insert a record for which the stock ID is different, which is not yet present into the stock. I think now it looks good. So we have created all the queries. Now let me just execute all the queries. So how can we do that? We all know that we have to use this SL cursor dot execute and I have to just pass the query so I have to first create the parent table child table insert two inserts then two selects right okay I could have just put all these in a file but let's see I mean how it works so this is my I just created a parent child inserting a record first into the parent and then I'm inserting into the second one and then I'm just selecting and then I'm just selecting from stock price. Okay, this looks good, right? So I think we are good. I think if I haven't made any mistake, everything should, everything should work fine. Okay, so this is good, but I have to print the values. So, so printing, what I can do is, I can just put fetch all here and I can print that. Similarly, I can print from here also. So fetch all and now we should have two records. Let's see whether we are. Yep. So now we can see two records, right? And see uh, the ID value is getting increased, right? And we can just have a in one one, right? But what if if I just change because I know that if, if, if I run this program third time, so the ID is going to be three, right? So let me just put four and see what happens. I'm expecting this should be filled with the foreign key constant. And this is what you can see on my screen, right? You can see this, right? And that is how it helps us, right? So what happens in a real time, you have to make the uh, relationship between the tables and you have to ensure that, okay, this is your parent table and whatever the column for which you want to ensure that child table should not have a different record, you can maintain this referential integrity by just having a foreign key, by just defining a foreign key on a child table. And that column you have to refer from the parent table okay so what you what all things you have to keep in mind you have to just keep in mind you have to include this pragma statement and you have to execute within a connection and then this is your parent table and child table right and then we have an insert statement for both of them right and uh, now now it's completely up to you because you know i mean uh, what kind of you know the business use case you have right so so you have to just collect the requirement and based on that you have to design your db and based on that you have to ensure that which table needs a relationship with which table and that is how you can make the relationship between the tables okay that's it from my side for this video if you have any feedback or a suggestion please feel free to put that in the comment section so that in my future video i will try to just incorporate those feedback and suggestion and if you want me to cover any specific topic in the context of the SQLite database please feel free to put that topic and i will just prepare the content and i will just share with all of you so that you know learning can be easy for you thanks for watching this and as always stay healthy and keep learning a new stuff